My name is Gal. I'm the chair of the Information Technology Management Department here in the Kohler School of Management. My personal research studies how social network communities, user online engagement in general influences outcome in electronic commerce. And um, a lot of my work focuses on content websites. Content websites are a fascinating area to, for research, at least in my opinion, because they've been going for this ongoing pursuit for a business model. And if you've been following the New York Times story, for example, this is a brilliant newspaper with millions of happy customers that find it very difficult to convert the free users into paying customers. If you want to frame the question, we basically have something we call the conversion challenge, where we're actually trying to convert happy customers into paying customers. So we are not talking about acquiring new customers, but we're actually talking about those who already like the product and trying to get them to actually pay for that product. So what we did is we developed a theory, we call it the ladder of participation, where we feel users are going up this ladder and they become more and more engaged. So when, once they start using your website, they're basically at the bottom of the ladder and they just take. But as they start liking the website, they start going up the ladder. So maybe at first they do some comments or liking or tagging. And then slowly they start contributing, maybe longer reviews. And then some of them will go all the way up the ladder and will become important um, participants or even organizers of the website. They may lead discussion boards, they may create new topics, they may create new groups and so on. And as they go up this ladder, they become more and more committed. And the more committed they are, the more likely they are to be willing to pay. So what we did to test our theory is we collected data about millions of users from Last.fm, a website that offers um, label music, and also have a very strong community around the music. And what we see is exactly that. We see that um, willingness to pay for a premium subscription actually doesn't depend much about how much music you've been listening to, but it depends a lot of where you are in this ladder. So the more um, committed you are, the more engaged you are, the more likely you are to be willing to pay for these premium subscriptions. So, we were very happy with this paper, it got published in a top journal. We won actually won some awards, so academically wise it was a great success. But then when I took it to managers, when I started talking to owners of websites, I got some kind of a mixed um, reaction from them. And they, what they said basically was, this is all nice, but not that many people go up the ladder, not that many people get that engaged with the website, which means not a lot of people will be willing to pay. So, in the next step, what we try to do is to see if we can encourage users up this ladder, if we can get them more engaged so they'll be willing to pay more. What we did is we created our own website, we call it Video Book, that presents videos about um, landscapes and nature. And it also has all the social features we used to, you can tag, you can comment, and so on. And we split the users into two groups. The control group can use the website as they wish, they can get engaged or not as they want. The treatment group, we actually every now and then nudged a little bit. So we encourage them proactively to get engaged and do actions that we chose. In conclusion, we find that social engagement or social community is an important part of the content website. And it's a very important tool into getting users more engaged and then later on getting them to pay more for the website. And fundamentally, if a website actually uses or offers this community, they are likely to make more money.